Hey, you guys, welcome back to the Cosmic Royal family. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. I hope that all of you guys are doing well. So I want to go ahead and sage my area, clear out any residual negative energy. I want to send you guys some positive energy, and I also want to banish any negative energy that anyone may be trying to send my way through um, this video, okay? All right, return back to sender times a thou wow. All right, so let's go ahead and tap in and let's see what messages um, Spirit has for us. Ooh. I, I just heard your enemy cannot face you. Oh my goodness, hold on. What is going on, Spirit? Because what is this energy I'm feeling? I just heard the enemy cannot face you. You guys, you're okay. Anybody that has been coming up against you is they are being left out in the cold spiritually. Okay, it's like these people are confined to their thoughts, they're confined to their misery. You know, it's, they feel like giving up. These people are praying and asking for assistance from Most High. They're not receiving anything. Yeah, look, Ten of Wands energy, they're very burdened. Life is very heavy for your enemies right now. People that went up against you for no reason at all, when you were nothing but good to them, it's like they have the weight of the world on their shoulders right now. You know, nothing is working out in their favor. They're finding life to be very hard right now because... Um, that energy, that hatred, that jealousy, that connivingness, whatever, you know, that was not of God that they sent your way has returned back to them tenfold. They're losing a lot. Like they can't get a grip. They can't like their finances are not as stable. They're like they're just they're in lack type of energy. And even if it's not like a financial lack, this person feel like they don't have nothing. They don't have nobody. But that's the workings of themselves. Like they did this to themselves. So this is like very much self-sabotaging. Look, energy, look at this. Five of Wands, this says, this talks about indecision, past resentment, trickery, and dishonor, dragging to others, conflicts, unresolved conflicts, okay? So these are people who left things unsaid. They tried to just leave things unresolved between you guys. And I just heard dishonor. So these people tried to put some type of dishonor on you or uh, remove honor off of you or something like that, but they can't take what God gave you. They can't take that. This, they try to drag you into their conflict, drag you into their misery, misery, love company. I, I'm just picking up an energy of someone who tried to like ghost you or maybe they did ghost you. They did something wrong to you and they ghosted you. They stopped talking to you or whatever. They tried to leave things unresolved between you guys. But spirit wants you guys to know that they are going through it. These people cannot get out of their head. They can't get out of the bed. Like they can't get out of the 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 karma that they set up for themselves, like they can't, they can't get over it. There, there's a very heavy grieving energy on these people. They are in spir spiritual poverty though. I just, I almost said spiritual jail. So spirit, spirit has these people confined. Whoever this is that did this to you, that betrayed you in the most um, horrendous way, life is about to be real hard for this person. Whoever this is, they're, it's about to be real hard. Like they think it's hard now. They ain't seen nothing. I'm like, I'm hearing the universe got some tricks up its sleeve for this person. They tried to leave you in an energy of lack. They could have... Uh, stolen something from you, taken something from you, lied on you, um, painted you out to be a certain type of way when you're really a good person. These people are being abandoned spiritually, like their, their divine protection is being removed off of their life. Spirit is saying, do the best you can to keep 
your energy out of it. Do the best you can to like, I'm hearing like, allow God to resolve this issue. Do the best you can. Like, even if you do a return back to sender, when, if you have to do a return back to sender because the energy is like attacking you or it feels overwhelming, don't focus on that person when you do a return back to sender. Just do a general return back to sender. Do not focus on that person. Just send any negative energy anywhere. So it's not just targeting that person, but it whoever or whatever is sending you negative energy that they receive it back to them because it don't belong to you. It's not for you to hold on to because people will send you negative energy and as if it belongs to you and it doesn't. This isn't your problem. Whatever this, whatever issues this person has is not your problem. And I'm hearing they're trying to make their problem be your problem. They're hiding from you. That's why you haven't heard from them. That's why they, they're not speaking to you. They're hiding from you. But you, this person, they, whoever this is, they cannot hide from God. And they damn sure cannot hide from karma. Three of Pentacles to energy. So yeah, they collab with other people against you. They talked about you like to other people like you are a bad person. And you did nothing wrong to this person or these people. All of this shit is coming back on them. Yeah, four swords energy. So when when they were collabing with other people, talking about you, making you look like you're the bad guy or whatever, like they were resting. You know, they thought that they were going to be able to recover from this. That everything was going to be all good, but they're not going to be able to recover from this energy. For some of you guys, these people may suffer from some type of mental illness I'm hearing. Or if they try to cause you some type of mental confusion or mess with your mental, I see that a lot of these people are going to lose their mind. That's going to be a part of their karma. They're going to have mental issues because they tried to play with your mental. And once you did that return back to sender or once you asked God to remove this energy off of you, it had to go somewhere. It went right back to whoever sent it your way. So if someone was doing something to you or causing you some type of stress and anxiety and it was messing with your mental, be prepared for these people to have mental issues. Be prepared to hear that this person lost their mind. You see what I'm saying? Like, cause, because whatever we put out there, that's what we get back. You know, this, this, this person's going to be very lonely. Ten of Pentacles energy. Like, I'm hearing people are going to start turning their back on this person. So the ones that they think that they have in their corner, they don't have, they're not going to have these people in their corner. These people are only there because they like to hear this person talk. Like these are messy people. Like they don't have nothing going on for themselves. So they just like to hear what this person has to say. Like, you know, but I'm seeing that these people are going to disconnect from this person as well. And it's going to put them in the energy of being lonely. And they're still heavy pinnacle in reverse energy. So this person or whoever did this to you, they're living a lack life. Okay. They're not going to be able to hold on to anything financial, like nothing. And that's because they don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. Like you cannot be blessed if you screw over a good people. You cannot be blessed. You won't be blessed. And I feel like, you know, you came in peace with this person and whatever issues or whatever trauma that they have or they had previously before they met you, they took it out on you. Yeah, they kept secrets from you. They tried to keep you in some type of head fog, mental illusions and things like that. They tried to keep you confused so that you wouldn't catch on to them. And that you will continue to give your good energy and your good life to them. Like you will continue to give of your divine energy to them. But what spirit is on to this person and spirit allowed you to see this person for who they are. And this is why this person is in hiding. This is why they're not talking to you. King of Pentacles in reverse. This is instability. They won't be stable. They're never going to be stable until they make this right with you. This is someone who may be obsessed with status, wealth, how they appear to other people. Yeah, but this person is going through some major endings in their life. So if this is somebody who had normally have a lot, or they're used to having a lot, they're not going to have a lot. This person's going to be, uh, I'm hearing, taken to the cleaners. Like the universe is going to clean this person out until they come forward and show their face and make something right with you guys. Tell you the truth. 
be honest, give you a genuine apology and not some bullshit ass apology that they possibly try to give you. They're not going to rest until they make this right. This could have been like someone who was a player type energy or they kept like a lot of suitors or something like that. This is somebody who always have their nose in the air. This is a know-it-all. I just heard a know-it-all type of energy, you know? This is somebody who wants to, I'm hearing like they think that they're independent or they think they can do it on their own or it's like an energy of feeling like they don't need nobody. <sighs> and you guys coming out in this Hierophant's energy, like they can't compete with you. You are the Hierophant, you're a spiritual teacher, you're a spiritual leader, you receive direct downloads and messages from Most High. They can't understand why you keep catching them up in this lie or how you caught them or how they always get caught up in um whatever sticky or whatever snaky situation that or whatever they try to do to you they it always bounce back on them and always reverse back to them that's because you guys are um being divinely guided with the hierophant's energy you have a lot of divine beings that give you messages they tell you things you know for some of you guys, this could have been your counterpart, king and queen of wands here, or you could have viewed this person as your counterpart, but it's something that this person owe you. It's something that this person did. They're not going to get away with it. Yeah, this person has been trying to block off what they did to you. They're trying to forget it. Three of, three of swords in reverse. They're trying to block off old grief, but spirit is going to keep, I'm just hearing like, um... Spirit is going to keep reminding them and keep reminding them and keep reminding them like they're never going to get rest. They're going to be restless, you know? Look, they're going to always be reminded of the deception. They're always going to re be reminded of how they snaked you, how they betrayed you, you know, how they tried to get away with something with you when you were just genuine with them from the very beginning, you know? And there's an energy of lack still here. And I feel like you guys could have been a blessing to this person like, Literally, God handed you over to this person as a blessing and they destroyed it. They fucked it up. And now it's like God is taking this blessing back from them. This is why this person is going to live a lifetime of misery and lack. They're not going to be able to hold on to anything and nor are they going to be able to attract any new blessings in their lifetime. Because I feel like God took this very personal, what this person did to you. A lot of you guys could be chosen ones, like real chosen ones, like for real, for real. You could be like earth angels. So it's just like anytime God um, offers you up, to somebody as a blessing and and this person pretty much rejected this gift from god you like a gift from god like imagine god giving you a gift and you like uh i don't want it i'm gonna screw over it you got to be crazy and and i just feel like this was very offensive to god and now this person's gonna have to pay for this so all right I hope you guys enjoyed this message just as much as I enjoyed giving it to you if you have not subscribed to the channel make sure that you are doing so Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that when I post a video, you guys will get an alert. Peace.